Hello, global remote workers. This is Nomad Carreras. We provide worldwide remote job leads and tips for expiring expats and global citizens. So in today's video, I have four high paying job leads that I wanted to present to you that I am excited about. And I hope you are excited uh, as well too, as far as like the potential um, that this can provide for you. So the first job lead that I have on the screen here, it is from a company called Chainlinks Lab. Well, Chainlink Labs. Now, Chainlink Lab is a decentralized blockchain network um, that is currently on Ethereum. So for those of you who are very familiar with Web3 as well as with cryptocurrency, um, then you are familiar with the whole aspect of the centralized blockchain network. However, you don't have to know anything about blockchains in relation to this particular position. This position is a executive assistant capital markets type of position. Um, so Primarily, they are looking for an executive assistant. So for those of you who may have an administrative type of background, this could be the job for you. It is worldwide and it is fully remote as well. So here they're talking about the objectives of the role um, where basically you are efficiently scheduling and managing internal facing meetings for executives and their teams uh, successfully tracking and maintaining records of follow-ups and action items from key external meetings manage schedules for sales professional sales professionals at conferences secure suitable meeting locations and coordinating meetings with external stakeholders enhancing networking opportunities and maximizing outcomes provide administrative support to busy executives effectively communicate across the organization keeping key stakeholders informed of cap markets initiatives the person in this particular position for skills and qualifications include demonstrated project management experience, strong administrative skills with experience in calendar management, exceptional organizational ability with a high level of ownership, executive presence and professionalism, ability to handle high pressure situations and meet tight deadlines, proficient in stakeholder management and communication, a proactive approach to problem solving and decision making, understanding of capital markets and business development functions, experience working with C-level executives or high net worth individuals, high emotional intelligence and interpersonal skills, positive attitude and with a team oriented mindset and strong verbal um, and written communication skills. So those are the mandatory skills and qualifications they are looking for, along with the object objectives of this role as far as like the ins and outs of what you could be doing all day. Here we have preferred qualifications, which again, preferred, not required. Previous experience working as a field ex executive assistant with digital assets, preferred, not required. Interest in digital assets and blockchain technology. Again, it's preferred, not required. However, I will recommend um, definitely doing some research on blockchain and just getting just getting some level of knowledge. I think there's some wisdom in that as far as like doing your research, especially when applying for a job like this. You do want to know what the company is about in relation to what it is that they do. So even if you don't have an interest in digital assets and crypto and blockchain, um, at least do your research on it so you can have like a basic understanding as to what's going on. Okay, and so here they talk about how um, this role represents an exciting opportunity for a motivated individual to contribute to the success of chain link lab strategic initiatives and play a key role in shaping the future of decentralized finance. And so if you are passionate about making an impact in the blockchain industry and possess the required skills and qualifications, we encourage you to apply and join our innovative team. So um, they're just letting you up front like the type of person that they are looking for. 
not just necessarily just an executive assistant. However, again, it's not a requirement that you know anything about blockchain, but it's more like a strong preference. And I say just as it would be wisdom to at least do research on blockchain and just be able to have a knowledge base to where you're able to bring up some basics um, during your interview once you are accepted. So um, here they do say that um, Chainlinks is an equal opportunity employer and all qualified um, applications will receive equal consideration. Um, that just so happened to land at that part, but really the part that I wanted to read was really this, all roles with Chain Labs are global and remote based. Um, so um, they do ask, um, unless otherwise stated, we ask that you try to overlap some working hours with Eastern Standard Time. We encourage you to apply regardless of your location. So we really want to just reiterate that, that this is a worldwide job. So no matter where you are in the world, definitely apply and just consider, definitely consider. So the pay, when I looked on, glass door for the pay um they actually had it listed out for chain link labs and for an executive assistant the pay range falls between eighty thousand dollars a year to a hundred and twelve thousand dollars per year usd and so that is really really good and yeah, if you have the qualifications, definitely apply. The second job from Chainlink Labs is the business operations manager. And so with this particular position, um, they are looking for someone um, who can collaborate directly with leaders across the organization on operations, strategy, product, and expansion efforts, contribute to high impact analytical, strategic, and operational initiatives, structure complex and ambiguous strategic problems, identify issues, develop um, hypothesis and execute it in and execute in-depth analysis to translate data into meaningful insights and make recommendations to the leadership team based on your findings. Um, develop effective and scalable operational processes and fill operational gaps. So with this one, they are looking for someone with a bachelor's degree and four to five years of experience in consulting and or business operations at a high growth tech company additional two to three years of in-house experience working within the blockchain industry with a deep understanding of blockchain ecosystem applications, technologies, and value propositions. You are highly analytical and data-driven. You can think across multiple dimensions of a business, sales, product, marketing, etc. Excellent written and verbal communication skills, availability, the ability to flex between analytical, strategic, and operational aspects of the job, resourceful and happy to roll up your sleeves and get any job done. You want to work in a fast-paced environment with constant change. Preferred qualifications, experience having um, contribute to, to a blockchain project, experience working with go-to market organizations, knowledge of SQL. All right. And here they just once again, just reiterate that they are global and they're remote based. All right. So as I've said plenty of times before, I'm going to say it again, the skills and qualifications for any employer when it comes to job description, that is their wish list. As far as like with an employee, they know full and well, they're not going to get someone who meet every single one of these particular qualifications. So if you are someone who, you know, you have experience in operations and you have, but you may not have a degree, I would go ahead and apply anyway. Um, so just because experience can outweigh a degree at times. So I just want to just put that out there just as a form of encouragement for those of you who may not have a degree, but you know you can qualify for a job like this. And also as well, too, um, if you have like any sort of like, you know, you're analytical, you know, you're data driven, you know, the multiple dimensions of a business where they talk about all different aspects, whether it be finance, marketing, sales, product, 
um, and also the soft skills that they mentioned here. Um, if you know you have those, definitely go ahead and apply um, just for sure. And also, just if I, as I mentioned with the first position for this, that um, be sure to, in the very least, um, do some research on blockchain if that's something that you're not familiar with. This is a very brand new industry. So the type of candidate that you're looking for is it's a very small pool. So definitely, I just want to encourage you just in that regard, like, well, really just consider this particular job anyway, especially once I tell you to pay. So the pay for this particular position, according to Glassdoor for a business operations manager is $81,000 per year up to $151,000 per year USD. So it's high paying, it's global, it's remote, anyone in the world can apply. Definitely consider it if you know you meet these specific measures or you come close to it. All right, so the second company that I have on my list is called Call Miner. Now, Call Miner is a conversation analytics software company. It, it's basically software that they use to measure customer service performance. And so this company, they have the first position here that is listed. Um, they do have two different offices. So they have like an office in Massachusetts um, that you see here, but they also have an office over in the UK um, as well too. Um, but all the jobs are remote. So they are considered a global company. Um, the customer success manager position this particular position um, here, they have the various different types of responsibilities that are listed out, um, primarily managing the customer experience, knowing your customer, working with customer executive sponsors, um, being able to locate resources, um, establishing and maintaining knowledge of the platform's capabilities, which is important when you're dealing with the customers, um, having a strong knowledge of assigned customers' portfolios, um, working with leadership, collaborating with leadership, identifying and qualifying positions, leverage your resources for both team members and knowledge base, and participate in yearly customer conference and provide input for the direction and agenda of applicable events and webinars, communicate effectively with other internal team members, effectively and accurately use and maintain all sales and operational tools in managing customer account activity. So um, I didn't read all through that, um, but that's just the gist of your primary responsibilities. Here are the requirements. They're looking for two years of professional experience. They're looking for someone with a bachelor's degree in a business related major or equivalent work experience. There you go. For those who don't have a degree, for those of us who don't have that, um, experience developing and managing B2B customer relationships, ability to manage customer expectations and be assertive, persistent and persuasive, excellent communicator with strong written and verbal communication, demonstrated ability to understand customer requirements, ability to effectively prioritize workload and manage changes in priority and direction must be computer literate, have experience using Microsoft Office Suite and other customer centric software. Um, they're saying that they're looking for someone that they either live in Boston, and if otherwise they would like to send that person to the Boston office or they're remote. And when I was reading on their website, like they do have a lot of remote workers, so they're not restricting themselves geographically, I can tell you. All right. Their preferred skills, two years of two years in conversation analytics and or contact center technology solutions, two years of SAAS experience and previous customer success experience. All right. So this would be great for someone who do have years of experience in the areas of customer service as well as operations. So definitely give this um, particular job a shot if you have a certain level of experience in administration in dealing with customers, especially B2B. And 
have some level of operational in there as well, too, because as I was reading through this, I kept thinking, OK, some of this is um, crossing over into operations just a little bit. All right. So the uh, the salary for the position of a customer success manager at Call Miner, when I was looking it up at Glassdoor, they said um, it is 90 thousand dollars per year to one hundred and forty three thousand dollars per year for a customer success manager at call miner so um, keep that in mind it's definitely a high paying job if you know you can potentially fit some of these qualifications definitely go ahead and give it a shot all right and so our last job lead for today is the project manager manager one position. And so with the project manager position, they are basically looking for someone who can work closely with their internal sales and customer service teams, engage with their customers and their prospects in pre-sale efforts, um, develop and deliver requirements, um, documentation to stakeholders, um, be able to track your work, be able to track projects and tasks, and be also being able to leverage um, call miners existing project process setting and managing expectations proactively managing changes in project scope leveraging product based training also com completing internal solution certification collaborating with internal teams and so the requirements for this job, they're looking for uh, someone with a degree in technical or business discipline or equivalent work experience. So let's keep that in mind for those of us who don't have a degree. Um, the equivalent work experience, minimum of two years in a hands-on project management role with one year in a technical environment, ability to work with minimum supervision, prior experience with external customers, excellent organizational and time management abilities, excellent communication, experience interfacing with external customers at all levels and driving customer meetings, experience as part of a cohesive team with technical resources, ability to interpret requirements and implementation details, attention to details and documenting effort estimates, demonstrated ability to multitask and to set priorities and to clarify priorities when uncertainty exists, confidence to work under pressure, ability to manage expectations and to professionally solve disputes, demonstrated ability to quickly learn new technology, demonstrated ability in applying project management discipline and structure within an involving organization, familiarity with Microsoft Office apps that are listed here. So their preferred skills, they're looking for someone with relevant this is something that they would prefer, not required. Um, relevant industry experience um, or product experience, experience scoping integration solutions, project management certification is A plus. And I believe I, yeah, I did. I covered um, project management certification in one of my videos. So definitely check that video out as far as like the gold standard, um, which I believe is PMI. Um, anyway, um, familiarity with project management software, such as Microsoft Project or Plan View. Also Jira Confluence Experience is a plus as well. So, um, and those are just preferences. But if you know you have any sort of like, and once again, administrative experience, operation experience, a project management experience. This is definitely the job for you. Definitely give this a look. Um, it's also paying, they also pay pretty well too. I will say Call Miner is competitive. Um, so for a project manager at Call Miner, according to Glassdoor, it was reported on Glassdoor that the project manager position pays between $91,000 per year up to $139,000 per year. And so once again, that is really, really, really good. Um, lots of um, high paying, just administrative, just 
type of jobs that are featured here today that are worldwide and um, which are really great. So if you fit any of those type of levels of experiences, definitely go ahead and apply. They're paying really well. So all right, that is it. I hope you found these leads helpful. And if by chance um, that you want to see any other type of industries covered um, in this particular channel, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I also have that free cheat sheet available for those of you who are looking for more different types of ways to find jobs. And I have a list of websites um, that you can check out as well, too. All right. So that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.